Hey what's up guys welcome back in this video i'll show you how to create coins and i will also show you how to place these coins on different places along a path so for creating coins i will use a cylinder game object okay so i'll right click in the hierarchy next i'll go in 3d objects and then i'll select this option which says cylinder so i'll double click on the cylinder option to check where it is right now so as you can see over here the cylinder game object is somewhere in between this cube so i'll drag this game object on the top okay the next thing that i have to do is i need to rotate this game object by 90 degree along the z axis so that it looks like a coin so i will select the cylinder game object next i will click on the rotation tool after that if you look very carefully okay so i don't think so this line is visible so basically i'll select the blue line okay which is for the z axis so i'll select this line i'll rotate the cylinder over here so that it is placed in position like a coin so as you can see as i'm rotating the coin there is a change in the z axis so i'll click on the z axis and i will change this value directly to minus 90 okay so you can either keep the value to 90 or you can also keep the value to minus 90 over here after this next i'll click on the scale tool so i'll select this green line and i will shrink it inside okay so now as you can see my cylinder is flat from the sides and it looks like a coin so next i'll select the position tool and i'll drag this line in front over here now you guys may be wondering that the x y and z axis are pointing downwards and if you also look very carefully, the Y is pointing in this side, Z is pointing in that side, and the X axis is pointing downwards. So basically the X axis is come on the Y axis side. And the reason why this is happening is because the coordinates which we have chosen are local, okay? So basically when you choose local coordinates, the X, Y, and Z axis value keep rotating as you change the rotation of the game object, okay? So next what I'll do is, I will change this local to global. So to change this to global, you just have to click on the local option. And if you click over here, this will change to global. The advantage of using global coordinates is that even if you change the rotation of the game object, the X, Y, and Z axis will take the global coordinates, okay? That is, they will stay along the global coordinates. So after creating the coin, next I will add some color to this. So I'll go in colors. I'll right click over here, I'll go in create, I'll select material and I'll name this material as gold. Next I will select this material and after this I will click on this white rectangle for the colors. So till now we were basically choosing a random color from this palette. Next if you look down we have this option called as hex color. So this time using the hex color we will give the golden color to a coin. So for golden color, the hex color is DAA520. Okay, this should be zero. So I'll choose this DA520 color. I'll close this thing. Okay, after this, I will drag this golden color on top of the coin. Okay, next I will customize this a little bit more. So as you can see, I've selected the coin. After that, I will click on this gold option and next you can see that there is this option of metallic so i'll increase this metallic option and now you can see the coin color looks a little metallic over here okay so let's see how it looks inside the play mode so if you look over here if i click on play mode okay i can't turn this over here but if you look very carefully this cylinder which we had previously is now shining over here okay and that's what we want so next what I'll do is I will rename the cylinder and I'll call this as coins. After renaming this as coins, next I will go inside the scripts folder and I will create a new script. I will give the script a name of rotate coins. Okay. Now we won't be writing any scripts in this video, but I'm just creating the script and I will attach the script to my coins. Okay. So as you can see the rotate coins script is been attached to this coin game object okay so if you look over here the rotate coins script is attached to the game object 
after this i'll go inside the prefabs and instead of duplicating this coin game object i will create a prefab of this coin game object and the reason why i'm making a prefab is because if suppose i have 15 different coins and if i have to make a change in all of them then instead of making changes individually on all the 15 coins i will just make a change in that prefab and all the changes will be reflected in the 15 coins okay so i'll select this coin game object and i'll drag it over here so as you can see the coins prefab is created next i will drag this coins prefab over here so i have a new coin one game object which has been created from this prefab and if you look very carefully if i click on this coins one then this coins one game object has the same property of this coins because this is basically a duplication of this coins so next i'll click on this coin one okay i'll click on the y axis and i'll drag this coin somewhere in the center over here okay i will again duplicate one more coin so the name of this coin is coin 2 and this coin is at a position of coins so i will again drag this coin and i'll put it over here after this i'll duplicate it one more time so i'll place the fourth coin over here now i'll now i'll basically duplicate all the coins and i'll place the coins till this point So guys, as you can see, I have created a total of 12 coins. Okay. So the last coin number is coin 11. Okay. So including this coins game object, I have a total of 12 coins. Okay. And if you look at the last coin as well, this coin also has a script attached to it. Okay. So the next thing that I'll do is instead of leaving all the coins as it is inside the hierarchy, I will put them inside an empty game object. So I'll create an empty game object. I'll give this a name of coin collector and next I will drag all the coins inside this coin collector game object okay so I've finished dragging all the coins inside the coin collector game object so now if suppose I want to move all the coins together then what I can do is I can okay so I think this is looking too small but as I was saying, if I want to move all the coins together in some other place, then I can just select this coin collector game object and then I can move all the coins together. So you can see the coins are moving together over here. So I'll just press Ctrl Z and I'll place the coins in the default place. So guys, that's it from this video. And I hope from this video, you would have understood how to create coins from a cylinder. I also believe you guys would have duplicated the coins and placed them on different part of your maze. I hope you would have liked this video. This was a free video from my virtual reality course which is available on Udemy. This course is currently priced at $200 but you can get it at a discounted price of just $10 by clicking on the link in the description. So if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos like these. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video.